Hey there YouTube, Sup up here bringing you another Shogun 2 Total War Online Battle Replay. This is being fought on the Shinano River and my opponent is Zaya Po. At least I believe that's how you say it. And my name is once again Raining Lava. You can see the map right here and I'll go into further detail when we actually get on there but you can see there is a little stream here going right through the center. And I'm starting up here and my opponent starting down here. So, pretty uh, interesting map from uh, what you can see on this uh, little mini map here. And I was quite curious about it. I don't believe I fought on it ever before. So, yeah, a little bit interesting. Anyway, um, first off, I want to tell you guys that the uh, day I actually fought this was quite a slow day for me. Um, I have two battles to bring you guys actually right now. And uh, they are actually both losses. I'll just give that away right now. And um, it, it was unfortunate, but, um, you know... Um, commentators lose and I don't mind really putting these up at all so um, I'm gonna put in pause here to show you guys each army first off I have my general's bodyguard you can also see I've changed my mon up a little bit a little bit different I have uh, that blue and uh, red combo which looks pretty cool and I'm also a two-star in this fight so uh, I named my general Ashigaru town not really sure why I just just felt like doing that and uh, there he is see if we can actually find the actual guy. There he is. There's my avatar right there. Then I have... Let's see. Two sets of Yari Cavalry. There's one of them. Then... Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Wait. Okay, so I have a Yari Cavalry right here. And a Light Cavalry right here. Then, let's take a look at our missile component. I have one, two, three sets of bow Ashigaru right here. And I actually really like these guys' uh, color, scheme on, color scheme on them. They actually are like uh, black and red. I like that red circle right in the middle of the black armor. It actually looks really cool in my opinion. And let's see what else is going on here. I have some spear infantry in this fight as well. I have one, two, two sets of Yari Ashigaru. And I also really like the uh, color scheme on these guys as well. Pretty cool. Then I have a ton of sword infantry. I have one, two, three, four, five, six sets of Katana Samurai. So I brought tons of Katana Samurai. So I'm pretty decked out on the infantry. I'm a little bit lacking on the range, but not by a whole lot. And um, it, it's kind of pretty even, I'd say. Uh, now let's take a look at my opponent's army, and you'll see why it's kind of even. First off, he has a Katana Cavalry over here. And these guys are very deadly. They are very good cavalry. And uh, that's why I said it's kind of even, because he does have this amazing cavalry. And they do have some chevrons on them. They are uh, one chevron. Uh, katana cavalry so they're very very good then he has his avatar's bodyguard here and he named him Date Masamuni there he is or Masamun either way I think anyway there he is right there and uh, he does not have the bow so he's actually sporting some armor pretty cool and uh, my opponent is uh, quite a high level I do believe he looks like 8 star from this but again I don't really know now let's take a look at his uh, range component. He has two sets of bow warrior monks. So this is why I kind of said it's even. I do have a little bit of a numerical superiority, but uh, these guys are epic. I'll be honest, these, these guys are just amazing. Bow warrior monks are just fantastic units. So there they are right here. And one of them is actually a veteran unit, and it has uh, two chevrons on it. Or no, wait. There we go. It has uh, two chevrons on it. I was correct, and they are no, and they are named Tirurs des Montagnes. I don't really know uh, how to do, uh, say that actually. Anyway, see those guys, and his army is actually all decked out with some pretty nice chevrons. So that was kind of interesting. It's kind of my first encounter with um, practically a full veteran army. So yeah, let's take a look at the rest of his army here. He has one, two, three. Uh, 
All right, let me recount that. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. Oh my gosh, this is quite hard. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with four sets of Naginata Warrior Monks, all with uh, various chevrons of various names, and then two sets of Naginata Samurai. So he has um, mostly spear wielding, but uh, the really good thing about this is these guys are really high quality and they have chevrons, so they're very deadly. So uh, let's put it back in play here. Now I, I want to show you guys something. At first I uh, wanted to make a beeline right for the enemy cavalry, and then I scrolled over him and saw there was Katana cavalry. So uh, I'm going to run back, but he actually did run away as well, and I don't really know why he did that. He could have easily um, uh, just completely decimated my cavalry there. But, uh, yeah, I, I pulled back across the river again. Or, not river, really. It's more of a stream. So, I'm on the opposite side of the stream from him. And I'm very confident that he's going to use his bow warrior monk's superior ranged to really lay into my guys. So, I'm really wary about that. I do not want that to happen. There's a cool little cinematic view from these guys' perspective. Pretty cool. You can see my army over in the background over there. Anyway... I have my cavalry over on my right wing, and he also has his cavalry over on his uh, left wing opposite my right. So we're kind of uh, facing off with each other's cavalry. But I do not actually think there's a huge uh, cavalry engagement in this fight. So at this point, uh, I decided to forward the stream because I see that uh, he is very intent to use his range advantage with these guys. So I'm going to forward across and uh, I do shoot my arrows. He does activate flaming arrow mode, and he's going to absolutely uh, burn down my general. And this is a common tactic that I always love to use. And uh, look at that. With that, uh, my general is knocked down to half strength, and that really sucked. It also really gave my mor my men a morale decrease, so that really sucked. Um, I'll be honest, that was really terrible. He also has uh, his uh, Naginata Samurai uh, coloring covering his right wing, opposite my left. And he has his experience, really a uh, good melee infantry, his Naginata warrior monks, charging right in through the uh, center. And at this point, I decide to uh, hurl my cavalry in there. I'm going to uh, ford across that little stream with my cavalry, and I'm going to go into these woods. And here comes the huge um, melee infantry engagement. So I'll let you guys watch that. And this fight is happening all over the place, and I'm going to need to support quickly. So over here, he's going to charge at me with his Katana Cavalry, but then he makes a beeline right for my infantry, and this is where I said, oh, crap. But uh, luckily enough, he did not go for my uh, melee infantry. He actually just went for my archers, and I was lucky. But uh, I do do a charge right in on his Katana Cavalry, and that's really going to hurt him. But it looks like his general used the rally ability right there, so that, uh, that really demoralized my men. And you can see that it's kind of an even infantry engagement. I now have my general in the vicinity, and he's going to start to do some inspiration. I also have my archers uh, shooting down the remainder of his bows, because that's about the best use I can give for them. And I just activated my rally ability, because you can see these uh, symbols. So it's uh, very, very even. I'm also going to uh, run my bows in, I believe, here in melee style. Either that, or I'm just uh, advancing closer. Nope, actually I was just advancing closer so I could take more shots. And at this point he's going to charge his general right in the backs of my men. You can see my men are starting to break at this point. And my cavalry has also been obliterated. So at this point it's, it's a really hard match now to, for me to win. I only have uh, three men left in my general unit. And for whatever reason my general is now with the rest of his bodyguard. There he is. And yeah, at this point he has uh, completely just overwhelmed my men. And he's going to charge at me with his general. And, uh, yeah, my uh, general there is going to route. So, uh, that was a really good uh, match. I very much enjoyed that. Very good game to my opponent there. And I actually have one more match to bring you guys, because this was not that long. And I'm going to make a longer one uh, today. So, yeah. figured you guys would like a little uh, two battle, one video. Alright, YouTube, I'm here with my second battle for the video. And this is another fight on the Shinano River map. And I'm versing an opponent named Elan Cardon. I believe is how you say it, and uh, I changed my name to LWR Field Darkness again. I think this is actually a day after from my uh, previous fight, and I think this is actually when I uh, started playing Napoleon, so I decided to change my name to this again. So yeah, that's the reasoning behind that, 
and uh, you guys have uh, seen this map already but there is much different strategy used in this one and from my last fight you saw my opponent rush this area so I figured the same thing would happen so I'm going to rush this area again just like I did my last fight but I uh, have a much different army than I did last time and uh, I'll show you that in a second first off I want to show you what my opponent plans on doing he is over here and at this point I was thinking two, sa two, two things he's either going to forward across the stream here and go on my side and just try to get me out of formation or he's going to meet me over here or if worse comes to worse he's going to go up here and you'll see what happens as uh, this is uh, quite an interesting fight um, as I said this is uh, two two losses for this video and uh, I figured you guys would like to see me uh, with some losses these are obviously right in a row with all my other battles because I show you guys every single battle I have as uh, I, I, I just like to do that it's uh, nice to when commentators show all their uh, victories and defeats because you get to learn from them in any case so uh, let me uh, just show you each army here first off I have my uh, avatars bodyguard here and I renamed him live for the flames so I'm just uh, doing random names. If you guys want me to uh, change it to a name that you think would be uh, funny or just cool, let me know and I will uh, happily use that in a video. And, um, yeah. Let's take a look at the rest of my army. I have three sets of bow units. I have two sets of bow ashigaru. And then I have a, a bow samurai. And these guys are veterans and I actually named them Headshot. So, there they are. They're dressed in red. Very cool. You can also see I changed up my Mon. It's uh, it's actually really cool. I kind of really like this one. It has that uh, green with slightly darker green emblem. It's really cool. I actually really like that. But uh, I change it up, as always. So, yeah. This is the first time you get to see my veteran bow units. And uh, they are very cool, I gotta say. Let's see what else is going on. I suppose we should take a look at uh, my melee infantry because I have no actual cavalry. Well, actually, yes I do. Sorry, I didn't see these guys. I actually have one Yari cavalry here and I kept these guys in in these woods because I wanted to catch him off guard. If he decided to cross over here, or where is it? Yeah, over here and come around this way. I have my cavalry there and I was going to launch an attack, but uh, you'll see that he actually does not do that. and. Uh, you can see where he's planning on going. He is going to hill camp slash corner camp. And uh, I try to talk him down from here, but he has no intention of moving, as you'll quickly learn. But basically, I do have some nice ranged, but it's you'll see that it's just not enough. Alright, so let's take a look at my melee infantry here. I brought two sets of spear type units. I have two Yari Ashigaru. These guys over here pretty cool then I have a crap ton of melee infantry let's see this is gonna be uh, quite hard to name everything I have one two three four five six sets of katana samurai these guys and uh, these guys are all bunched up right over here I also uh, brought my cavalry out of hiding seeing that he was n not planning on going over that way in by any means. He uh, had no intention of doing that. And then I have one set of Nodachi Samurai. And these guys are actually hidden. They're moving through the forest here. They, he did see them in the beginning, I'm sure, though, because I just, like, ran them into this woods and then I started walking them while they're hidden. So, uh, they are walking hidden right now. Pretty cool. And, uh, I'm sure he actually noticed them, but it, I just figured he might forget about them and I could launch him in a proper moment. But I decided to uh, run my cavalry over into this woods right here. These woods right here. And that is because if you look, these woods are pretty strategic because I can hide my cavalry here. And you're going to see that I start wa uh, walking them. And I'm going to walk them around his flank here the best I can. And I'm going to try to hit his archers. But you'll see what he does in response to this, which is really annoying. Also, if you look at his flags, he has a lot of spear units. And uh, I'll show you that in just a moment. 
But uh, yeah, I'm just advancing very cautiously. I don't uh, really have a strategy at this point yet, because I am going to sit still and, and kind of think things through. But uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at uh, my opponent's army. He has four sets of bow samurai, and this is why I can't win the range fight, because I have two sets of bow Eshigaru and one set of bow samurai, and he has four sets of these guys, so that's really hard, and not to mention he has a hill, so it really sucks for me. Then he has a crap ton of uh, spear infantry. He has one, two, um, three, four, five sets of Yari Samurai. These guys. I think this is actually the first time you've seen Yari Samurai. You might have seen them before. I can't really remember offhand right now. But uh, here these guys are. Then he has some Naginata Samurai as well. So let me see those guys. Um, one. Two. Alright, so yeah, two sets of Naginata Samurai, and these are them right here. Pretty cool, huh? I actually uh, really like those guys, they're pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's definitely really dangerous fighting this kind of spear infantry with this kind of bows on an uphill, you know, uphill. It's really dangerous. And I am just uh, kind of sitting over here thinking out a strategy. I, I have a really good strategy with my cavalry over here. Oh, over here. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be very challenging because now, as you can see, he's moved his boat really close to his, uh, spear infantry. That really sucks. He also has, uh, one, or actually he has a few units of sword infantry. He has a katana samurai. These guys. And a veteran lone sword Ashigaru unit, and they only have one chevron, but nevertheless, they are veteran, and he named them the Ones. Pretty cool. Then his general, he is a four star. Once again, shows two chevrons. I don't really know how that works, but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, he is wearing the default armor here because he has this bow, so yeah. Also, his color scheme is pretty cool as well. Alright, so at this point, I am sitting still, and I'm going to put this in fast forward as I think out my strategy, because uh, I, I really am trying hard to think of a strategy, and I think at this point, I finally put my plan into motion, but uh, you're going to see that it's just not going to work out well. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll let you guys observe what my strategy was here. First off, I'm going to rush forward and use my bows to the best of their ability. I'm going to try to wear down the enemy archers, first off. And I believe I'm going to use flame arrows quickly because he has now unleashed them. And he's doing the smart thing and going right for my bow samurai veteran unit. And that is uh, really annoying to me. But I am happy that he used his fire arrows all like that. Instead of focusing it on my infantry when I eventually charge. So that was actually uh, a setback for the range component. And uh, an advantage for my sword infantry component. I also think I took my... Uh, where are they? Um, yeah, I think I took my, uh, Nodachi Samurai out of the forest here. Um, or maybe I didn't. Where are those guys? Um, okay, I'm at a loss for where they are. They, what? Well, not much is happening anyway, so let's go on a hunt for, uh, the Nodachi Samurai. I know they can't be far from my army. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I do have two sets of Nodachi Samurai. These guys right here. Don't know how I missed these guys. I just looked here. But anyway, yeah, I have two sets of these guys. I said one earlier, so yeah. You can see that my archers are kind of getting wasted. And at this point, I see that it's kind of hopeless. So I'm going to rush forward my infantry. And uh, I believe I put them in loose formation. Uh, I want to keep my Nodachi Samurai behind my main, my main line. Because these guys are really vulnerable to arrows. And... On this game, infantry is really, really vulnerable to arrows. So what I do is I put all my men into loose formation. And I figure this is my best chance. Luckily enough for me, he's still targeting my archers. Which is exactly what I wanted. At this point, I use my archers as fodder for my infantry. And I actually get up here without his uh, infantry... I mean, without his bows, doing any casualties to my uh, infantry. And seeing this, I'm going to rush forward with my general. I don't want to have a repeat of last battle where he gets flamed again. Which really sucked, because that's basically the reason I lost. And uh, first in the fight are my Yari Ashigaru. I actually put these guys in front, hoping that uh, 
it, even if he didn't target my uh, bows, hopefully then he would target my Ashigaru in front. So I, I had a multi-phase strategy. If he didn't target my bows, I was hoping he'd target my Ashigaru, so yeah. Over here I have my general rushing over to encourage my men. I have my Nodachi Samurai and I'm going to rush them onto the flank. But uh, yeah, you can see that I, I really don't know how he afforded this kind of manpower because he has his first line of infantry even doing really well. Over here I charge my Yari Cav and I believe they get uh, hooked on to this uh, Yari Samurai unit. So uh, yeah, let's watch this. Yeah, they're going to get hooked onto this Yari Samurai unit, which sucked for me because I really wanted to get by. At this point, I think I'm clicking rapidly, and I do get out of there, and I'm going to make a beeline right for his general because I see that that's probably the best way to deal, th deal with things. But he has his Yari Samurai here. But I do get a charge on his general, which was really what I wanted. And uh, my general is uh, now going to be inspiring my men. And it's actually a really even fight. Um, I'll get you some up-close action here. Yeah, so check, check this out guys, there's some nifty sword fighting going on here. Okay, over in the back here, my uh, Yuri Cavalry are doing their job, but um, it's not going to be able to kill his general, unfortunately, because he does have this uh, Yuri Samurai unit in here, mixing it up with my Yuri Cav as well, which really sucks. If I had killed his general, I might have just been able to pull this off, because look at his men. I actually do have a uh, pretty nice force over on uh, on my left, opposite his right, but it's just not enough, and uh, his spear infantry is really hardcore. I have my general doing my ab doing his absolute hardest to try to stop these guys, but at this point my center just broke, which really sucked because now he can push through the center, so I had to retreat back my general just a little bit, and now I'm in desperation because my uh, right flank is folding. So I charge my general around the flank and I'm going to pull off a hammer and anvil. This is essentially what's about to happen here. So you guys can watch this. He is going to charge his Yari Samurai at me, but uh, I need this charge. And I'll put this in slow motion. So watch this. I'm going to charge right into his Yari Samurai here. Um, unfortunately, he did get this unit in the way. So uh, my men did get a little bit hurt there. Uh, I only lost one unit so far. I think I lose a few more, but yeah, I just need to get by, and I'm going to make a last ditch effort charge on his general with my general. And this, as I'm sure you guys can tell, is pure desperation. Because now at this point, my flank is folding, and my men's morale is definitely having issues. And he definitely, being very smart, recalled his general. And I am trying my darndest to get to him, but he keeps pulling his uh, samurai in the way. So I decide, screw it, and I'm going to charge right into the backs of his uh, men here. And that actually is going to cause a lot of damage. And uh, that is actually his lone sword unit that I crashed into the back of, so that's going to be very devastating. I'll put it back in uh, regular speed here. But he is charging his Yari Samurai, so what I decide to do is I make a beeline right through his line and uh, through mine and just get to the other side. So, yeah. <laughs> a plus for tactics of getting my general out of there, I suppose. So, yeah. I think in the process, though, my general falls. Or he already has fallen in any case. Uh... Yeah, I can't really tell where my general is. Oh, actually, there he is. There's my general fighting bravely among the huge cohort unit here. And, uh, yeah. He might actually get out of here, and he does. He's going to escape this, uh, this little frolic of men here. And I was rapidly clicking. I needed that. But, uh, yeah. He is going to now fold around my flank, which really sucks. So, again, I'm going to take my general around the flank. He only has seven men left in his unit now. His general has um, nine, so I'm just trying latch ditch effort hammer and anvils. And what I should have done in this case was um, charge his general, because with the charge, uh, with the extra charge bonus, I should have been able to beat him. I didn't really think of it at the time, so I charged right into the flank of this uh, Yuri Samurai unit, and I think I might be able to route them here. I'm not really positive on that. My Nodachi Samurai are actually right here causing some real damage. But, um, yeah. There is my general right there. And uh, at that point my general actually routes because there's only two men left in his unit. 
There's absolutely nothing I can do anymore because he had he had completely just folded my flank. So uh, yeah, look at that carnage, and uh, this is quite a pummeling that I took, to be honest. Um, you can see that he still has quite a few men left, but I did kill a ton of men. It's just that he had so many men, and uh, I'm not really sure how he how he could afford all that. Over on uh, the uh, left there, as you can see, um, it, it's de it was definitely really, really close. Um, but he just folded my right too fast, and it just broke down. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this two-battle set of just this two-battle video. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyway, I'll be back to you guys in the uh, future with more videos. Also, uh, I, have, I have made my choice on uh, the Shogun 2 campaign that I'll be doing. I'll leave that choice. Um, for a future video, and hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.